Wasi 2018, question on logarithm from the elective mass question paper, question number 2, section B. Solve the equations log of x minus 1 plus 2 log y equals to 2 log 3 and that of log x plus log y equals to log 6. Don't forget, if a logarithm is written without the base, it is in base 10. So let's write them and apply the laws of logarithm to equate for our x and y. With this, the first thing we are going to apply is transferring the 2 from here to become an exponent, the third law. So this is going to be the log of x minus 1 plus the log of y squared equals to log of 3 squared. And I think in the case of this, we can get 9. But here, we are seeing addition. So the addition is going to be a multiplication of the argument. So this gives you the log of y squared multiplying x minus 1 equals to the log of what? 9, meaning 3 times 3. What do we do? A logarithm to the base 10, to the base 10 at both sides. So we take anti-log. So we're taking anti-log of both sides, cancel the logarithm, give you only y squared times x minus 1 equals to 9. And you can see that we have both the x in here equals 1, taking that as what? Equation 1. So let's go to the second one. So, and also, if we take the second one, which is the log of x, the log of y equals to the log of 6. What can you see there? Addition becomes multiplication of the argument. So we have log of x multiplying y equals to the log of 6. Single logarithm at both sides. So we take anti-log of both sides. So if we take anti-log of both sides, the logarithm cancel. So we are left with only x, y equals to 6. That becomes our second equation. So these are the two equations we are going to solve. You can see both sides are made up of product of the x and y. Here multiplying, here multiplying. Making x or y the subject here will be a little bit problematic. So let's make x the subject here. So So when you make x the subject, you have x equals to 6 divided by y as equation 3. So we put this equation 3 back into equation 1 whenever we see x. So let's perform substitute into equation 1. And what is the equation 1? We are having y squared into bracket. 6 divided by y minus 1 equals 9 from here. So whenever we see x, we only replace that. And in this bracket, you have a fraction. Your denominator is y, therefore your LCM becomes y in the bracket. So this is going to be y goes into y1 times this will be 6y. 1 goes into y, that will be y times y. It will give us... This is going to be only 1, so minus y equals to 9. Performing the fraction in the bracket. So now we have a single fraction, numerator, denominator. So we can multiply. And if you are multiplying, you know the denominator can go in here and cancel. So we we'll left with only y times 6 minus y equals to what? 9. We can expand from here as well. So we have... 6y minus y times y, y squared, equals to 9. This will be giving you a quadratic equation. So let's see. Sending everything from the left to the right. So your y squared will become positive y squared. This is positive. It becomes negative 6y. Then the, y, the 9 is already there. So we have it as positive equals to 0. So what do we look for? We look at for the factors of 9. 
when you multiply, you get nine. When you add, you get negative six. Meaning those two factors must all be negative. So negative three times negative three give us the value of negative six. This alone is already a perfect square trinomial because if you have the half the square of the middle term give you a constant so we can call it a perfect square but let's just take it this way we are going to have y minus 3 y minus 3 equals to 0 which is the same y minus 3 y minus 3 that means y is equal to what 3 so if y is equal to 3 then we sub into equation 3. This is the equation 3. We see that x is equal to 6 divided by y and y is 3, meaning 2. Therefore, x is 2 and y is equal to 3. So the values of x and y that will satisfy these two simultaneous equations will be 2 and 3 respectively. I believe you follow through, get your understanding, comment your thoughts in the comment section, share with somebody, subscribe, and God will bless you. Bye-bye.